I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments. The final exams around the corner. Many of you requested for a sample test paper. So we are going to share with you sample test paper for every subject in mathematics for different grades. So here is the one for functions 11 MCR3U final sample test paper. It is grade 11 functions course in Ontario. With our past 15 years of experience of teaching this particular subject, normally the predictions and the type of questions we share with you are very close to what you get in the final exam. Well, in case you want to learn directly from us, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So, as discussed in the very beginning, selected questions which have come in past test paper will be shared with you representing what you should know after the end of this particular course. Here is the very first question which is based on transformations. It also includes concepts of functions and function notation. You are given a graph of y equals to f of x. Now part a is to graph another function g of x minus 4 equals to 2 f of minus x minus 3. Once you do that, then you need to write down the domain and range of the transform function g of x. Good. Let's move on to the next question, which is based on inverse functions. Question number 2. Given f of x equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 5, where x is less than equal to minus 2. Determine equation of inverse of f. Write down domain and range of the inverse of f. Clear? So, and here is the third question. So, the first two questions were from unit 1, where we're talking about the functions, and now we'll look into the second unit, where we are looking into algebraic expressions. So you need to simplify the given expression which involves factoring, writing restrictions and the skills which will be further exploited in this particular subject. So the very first one is to simplify and state restrictions of 16x squared minus 18xy over x squared minus 5xy plus 5y squared divided by 8x squared plus 32xy over x squared plus 2xy minus 8y squared times 2y. Now with that, we'll move on to the next unit, next chapter of this particular subject where we will work with surface area and volume. So here the algebraic skills will be further tested. This is an application test question, slightly challenging. A cylinder has maximum volume given its surface area when its height is twice the radius, right? Very complicated statement to understand. I would like you to read this statement properly and then answer part A and part B. A is simplify the ratio between the volume and surface area of the cylinder with radius r and height h using the relationship of maximum volume. So what is the relationship of maximum volume? It has been defined in the statement given here. So using this relationship, find the ratio of volume to surface area. Okay, that's part A. Part B is show that the ratio between the volume and the surface area of the cylinder with diameter given to you as 8x minus 222 is 
4 by 3x minus 37. Now these questions are also for IB students who in grade 10 take MCR3U advanced function courses, right? Great. Let's move on to the next question, which here is now on factoring skills. So we have taken a cubic function to factor question number 5. Area of a rectangle AX equals to x cube minus 6x square minus 8x plus 48 is given. Find its perimeter in terms of x. So the questions in general are slightly more challenging than what you normally get. But in case you understand how do we solve these questions, you are much better off. Well, in case you need a PDF of this particular question set, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We'll be providing the solutions of these questions in the playlist. So check our playlist for the solutions. Now let's move on and take up the next one, which is question number six. Calculate the value of k such that kx square minus 10x plus k equals to zero has no roots. It should be written as has no real roots. Is it okay? Has no real roots. Okay. So you need to find the value of k. So this is moving on to the next unit on quadratic functions. Quadratic function is a major unit. And so we have most questions based on quadratic functions in this particular uh, final test review. Question number seven here is determine the equation of the line that is tangent to the quadratic relation y equals to minus 2x square plus 6x minus 3 if the slope of the line is minus 6. This is excellent question which has come in past IB test paper and uh, understand its solution as it is going to help you in grade 12 courses. Let's move on to the next question, which is question number eight. So before we get into the roots of quadratic equations, it's a good idea to revisit the radical operations. So we have two questions based on radical operations in this case, as you can see. So I'd like you to actually pause the video, answer these questions as we move along. Uh, that'll be good for you. And then from the playlist, you can check the solutions. Minus 3 square root 2 times x minus square root 6 minus square root 10 is the first term. Minus 2 times square root 27 plus 4 square root 80 is the second term. Part B is more on rationalization. So you need to simplify, leave the solution in the exact form. It really means for 8B, rationalize the expression, write down your answer. Perfect. Here is question 9. Determine. Equation of quadratic function with zeros at 4 plus minus 5 square root 3 that passes through the point which is minus 1 minus 5. So we are given here rational roots, right? And uh, it's 4 plus 5 square root 3, right? So irrational root. Square root 3 is irrational number. Now, how do we write? this kind of uh, equations sometimes tricky in our solutions you'll find different approaches which can help you get this answer very easily okay so search for anil kumar writing equation of quality function given irrational roots next question here is an application question an engineer is designing a parabolic path the arc must be 20 meters high and 8 meters wide at the height of 10 meters. Determine the quality function that satisfies the given condition. Find the width of the arc at the base in exact form. Brilliant question. Uh, you can pause and answer this. We have many such questions in our uh, playlist, right? So you can look for hints. Here is question number 11. Another question on quadratic equations. A manufacturer determines that the number of drills it can sell is given by the formula D equals to minus P squared 
plus 160p minus 305, where p is the price of the drill in hundreds of dollars. Okay, so read carefully so that you don't miss on such important things. At what price will the manufacturer sell the maximum number of drills? So a couple of ways to do it. You can do completing the squares or you can use the formula, right? Minus B by 2A. Great. Question number 12. A square garden with side lengths X centimeters has a pathway around it that is square root 2 meter wide. Determine the value of X in exact form if the area of the walkway is 32 meters square include a diagram so again the skills which you have learned the radical working with the radicals is key in answering many of the questions which will come in your final exam so review those skills perfect here is question number 13 which is based on function notation so f of x is given to you as 5x plus 6 g of x is 8 minus 3x determine the values of a such that f of a square equals to g3a right so once you have understood quadratic functions now this is a key question based on function notation and quadratic functions here is question number 14 which is solve the exponential equations two of them are given to you they look similar 2 to the power of x plus 3 minus 2 to the power of x equals 28. And then we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 plus 4 to the power of x equals to 12, right? So try to solve these equations. We'll move on to the 15th question now, and which is application of trigonometry. Now trigonometry is also a major unit, slightly difficult for some students. We picked up a couple of questions. Uh, from trigonometry, this is indeed a difficult uh, application question. A light from a rotating offshore beacon can eliminate effectively up to a distance of 300 meters from the beacon, right? That's the position. A point on the shore is 400 meters from the beacon. So this point, 400 meters from the beacon, right? From this point, the side line to the beacon makes an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal, right? With the shoreline, which is horizontal. What length of shoreline to the nearest meter is effectively eliminated by the beacon? So you need to find this length, correct? Very important question. Apply sine law, cosine law. You can easily do it. Perfect. Here is your next question uh, in which we have sequences and series. A company emails its employees the news of free coffee available. Suppose that in the first round of emails, the first person in the chain emails four people. Each person emailed then makes four emails and so on. Right. So now we have the questions. At what round will the emails of 4,096 4, people contacted? At what round of emails are 4096 people contacted? And part B is by what level will all 87,380 employees have been contacted? So, very important question on sequence and series. Write down the equation, solve it, right? Question number 17 is again sequences and series. We are given a series here. Determine the sum of the following series. 6 over 7 minus 9 over 7 plus 27 over 14 and so on. The last term is 243 over 56. You observe that it's alternating plus and minus sign, correct? So find out number of terms and then the sum of the series clear so we are almost at the end last two chapters sequences and series and then financial applications right question number 18 here is from trigonometry solve sine cube x equals to sine x for x in the interval of 0 to 360 degrees 
factor, bring the terms one side and solve. Question number 19, trigonometry without graphing calculator. Solve 3 sine square x plus 4 cos x minus 4 equals to 0, where x is between 0 to 180. And then again, equation on trigonometry, graph one cycle of f of x equals to 3 sine 2x plus 90 minus 1, write its domain and rate. And now the last question of the test, which is Anil deposited dollar six thousand into a savings account and earns twelve percent per annum compounded quarterly. How long will it take for the investment to grow to seven thousand five hundred dollars? You might have to use logarithms to answer correctly, right? You may round this number to. Uh, the number of uh, months. Perfect. Okay. So with that, we come to an end of this test paper 2024 sample test paper for MCR3U11 functions. I hope you have enjoyed this journey of learning from me and those of you who want to learn or even get ready for the advanced function courses or other grade 12 courses. They may join my summer classes. That would be great. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.